I had a little bird. Its name was Enza. I opened the window, and in flew Enza. Perspective. Often confused as opinion. Perhaps perspective can best be defined. Viewing a particular situation from the viewpoint of another. It may also be said that the greatest and most relevant perspective is the one gained by an individual who is challenged by their circumstances. This perspective is most readily found in a time gone by. 1918. November will bring an end to the Great World War. This war has killed over 9 million military personnel and 10 million civilians. Four years of killing and 19 million souls sent to an early grave. After four years of war, it's finally time to welcome home brothers, sons, fathers, and friends. After four years of destruction, it's almost time for peace. Soldiers will be heading home. But even in the midst of peace drawing nigh, something even deadlier than the Great War begins to take hold of a nation, of the world. With the transfer of soldiers, some to war, some homebound, the global spread of the Spanish flu commences. The pandemic of 1918 has begun. In many cities, citizens are ordered to wear masks with the threat of being thrown in jail. Schools, theaters, businesses, many of them ordered to cease opening. Individuals advised to stay indoors, to avoid the simple courtesy of shaking hands. In some towns, spitting is banned. Taking matters into their own hands, small towns quarantine themselves. Simple services such as mail delivery and garbage collection halted due to sickened employees. Schools, homes, and community buildings turned into hospitals. Makeshift morgues overflowing with bodies. Perspective. After more than a year of wreaking havoc, the invisible virus weakens its hold on the world. In its wake, millions dead. The actual number of lives taken by this virus vary greatly. Many died without ever being acknowledged. An invisible germ doing battle, killing more than all the bombs and bullets of the Great World War. But even so, while continuing in the crippling effects of the Great War, citizens of this bygone era persevered. Not by choice, but by necessity. While enduring the heartbreak of loved ones lost in the war, they survived the global effects of a pandemic. A pandemic that left no one untouched. They got through this era of pain together. The pandemic soon became a memory they wished to forget. But trials of this generation were far from over. The Great Depression, the Second World War. Even so, those two became memories. Memories that brought pain. Memories which reminded of hope. 2020. A new year. A new decade. And something we never anticipated on the horizon. A new economy. A new world. The pandemic of 2020 was never on the plan our plans at least. Death, sickness, job loss, hunger, dissension. Circumstances we never imagined. The effects of a pandemic much greater than anyone ever thought possible. 
But this too will become a memory. Hopefully, a memory which reminds us of hope. We will persevere and we will get through this together. Find your place to lend a helping hand. Stay together and stay strong. Convincing nor persuasion is the goal here. Perspective is all that's offered. This happened before. The virus soon became a faded memory. Tyranny didn't take hold. Freedoms for all emerged. A tragic economy soon gave way to prosperity. Memories, lessons, and gratitude will persevere. We will get through this and we will prosper again. This video is dedicated to the many medical workers across the globe dedicated to fighting this invisible virus and to the many families dealing with the pain of losing a loved one due to COVID-19. May peace and comfort surround you.